Okay, so first impressions video for the new Dunu SA6 Mark II. This is a set that should be coming out at the end of the month. I think there will be a lot of videos coming out. I thought there was maybe a slight embargo or something, but I just saw somebody do a first impression, so I'll go ahead and throw my hat into the ring. If you want to win this set, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be spinning for a set that I already said I'd give away, which is the first one that I got, which is definitely matching, I think, to their intended target, whereas the set that you're looking at right now I got to give you a disclaimer. It might be lacking by about 1.5 to 2 dB compared to what Dunu's intention is. Um, I have two 7-Eleven mics that you can see right there. They asked me privately, "Is it, can you compare the two for us? And I did. And then I said, I can do a video of me using two mics and also the Ultra and the Mark II if you'd like that. And they were very cool and said, no, that's not necessary. But they might end up sending another one. And if they don't, I'm going to go ahead and purchase it myself. So the one that's up on this pedestal is going to go out to somebody that like, comment, and subscribe below this video. Go ahead and do that, and you will qualify for um, this set right here. Comment, like, and subscribe. Now, let's talk about the border up on there now. Um, I think this is similar to the Dunu SA6, obviously, and the SA6 Ultra because it's uh, basically a brother to those two sets. Contains six balance armatures with slightly varying, mostly difference would be in the extension and also it's got variations in the upper mids and also slightly in the base. I think that the base for this set is a 6 out of 10. Let me go ahead and show you my rankings list. You can see that Trieli is third. It's going to be fourth when I put the Grand Maestro up there. And it's got a score of six for base. I don't put anything above six for base that's done by a BA. It doesn't matter what the set is. It could be Crin's Dawn. It could be um, the Anoli V14. It could be the Diva. It could be the Trieli. That's simply a personal uh, decision that I don't put stuff that's BA above 6. The mids are 8 out of 10. They're very nice. They're very clean, slightly smooth. I think the troubles are 7 out of 10. I think resolution is 7 out of 10. Resolution, technicalities kind of get blurred together when people explain them. The resolution to me is the ability to pick up stuff like Randy Rhodes' finger slide on the track D on Blizzard of Oz where he was doing a um, acoustic guitar exercise basically getting his fingers stretched and um, it wasn't intended by him to be put on an album but they did later and it got to show that Randy was a classically trained guitarist and he was very talented subtle nuances like that on different albums um, because of the quality of the drivers and also put in the perfectly matching material whether it's resin or metallic and the cavity size and everything comes together to make a really well tuned and sounding set that doesn't always happen, even with the same drivers, just because it's using a different type of shell. Um, it's very, a lot of things come together to make a set sound excellent and above and stand out related to other sets that might be otherwise very similar. Um, getting down to the bottom of this border, I'm gonna throw up a, a quick spider graph and then I'm gonna pull it down quickly because again, this is first impression, so don't read into that too much. If we look at the bottom, I think that this is great with stuff like, um, interestingly enough, Alice in Chains, I thought sounded great with this. I thought Vivaldi actually sounded really good with this. I thought it has not too much low end or mid bass for violins um, on the first track, which is Concerto number one in E major, which I, people say is made for piano, but it, this version is with strings, violins. I think it sounds really good. It's got proper tonality. It doesn't have too much low end. It's not doing what a lot of sets do that have too much mid bass. Um, so it does good with that. As we move to stuff like Bob Marley, which should be right here, uh, this is okay. It. Bob Marley is kind of like hip hop in a sense, reggae, that there's always a lot of constant low end going on. It's not quite as imperial and authoritative as hip hop, but it's omnipresent, it's always there. V sets can do hip hop or reggae pretty well. Um, so I think this set does okay with that. Stuff like Massive Attack, Angel, the droning in that track is sufficient on this set. It's not lacking really in any way. I think this is not great when we get to stuff like Big Boy Kill Jill. I don't think this is a set, I don't think BA sets in general, if you're not called Diva set on the Mac setting, 
would I recommend that? I don't know the people in a week, in a month, in a year are going to say, oh, you're a bass head, you love hip-hop, get the all-BA SA6. I don't think that's ever going to happen, even if the set is 1.5 to 2 dB lower than what their target is. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. Um, so not great for that. The price is about 579 I just read today, and the config is 6BA. The efficiency is 114 dB, and the impedance is 24 ohms. Um, taking a look at the frequency graph, of all three sets, this is two in the base mode and then the stock SA6 because it didn't have adjustable modes. I don't think it did. That's not in my presence right now, though I do have the Ultra and the Mark II. You can see that I'm going to go ahead and flatten these and give you an idea of what's going on here. The measurement of the Ultra has a little bit more sub bass than the Mark II, which is really not supposed to be what's going on. And also the mid bass on the Mark II is more than the Ultra, but not the sub bass. So my low frequency tuning prior to about 100 hertz seems to be slightly deviating from what their intended uh, replay is, though everything beyond that seems to be matching. You notice that they're lifting up the low end and they're also dropping the upper mids at the same time, which is, gives you what is a, a seesaw effect. When you do one thing, you kind of undo another. There's, here's two examples. One is what you're looking at right here. You you lift the bass and you drop the ear gain in the upper mids. You're going to give uh, maybe a smoothness to vocals, uh, less um, less energetic replay of certain things like guitar and vocal harmonics, which is going to be up to personal taste if you prefer that or not. S I haven't spoken to Timmy from Giz Audio since before he went to Singapore. That spent a little while. I would be surprised if he wasn't a huger fan of the Ultra than he is of this set because of that right there. Because of the lower ear gain and upper mids and the slight smoothness that that brings, that seems to not be his taste and he'd love the Ultra. I didn't so much. I would be shocked if he picked this over the Ultra. That would be a surprise, but I have no idea. I haven't spoken to him. But that seesaw effect that you get when you lift bass and then you drop the upper mids is another way to explain that is mid bass. Now you you tuck in the mid bass and you get female vocals that seem cleaner and drier and other instruments across the mids maybe sound a little more uh, there and available to you. However, when you increase the mid bass for me and you give more snaps on the bass guitar and more oomph and thump to kick drums and drums, you take away from that ideal quality for female vocals. So the seesaw, you're pushing up the mid bass a little bit, but you're maybe diminishing the quality of female vocals at the same time. That's related to the ear gain region as well, but generally more mid bass seems to be less appealing to people that are into K-pop, J-pop, and female bass libraries. So the seesaw of push up one thing and degrade the other or make it less ideal happens a lot, and it seems to be kind of what goes on with the SA6 M M Mark II. Depending on what your library is, this might be going closer to what you like, like me, or a little bit further away. And it would make total sense when you consider they basically took the frequency graph and tilted it left up, right down. But just to put it simply, and all the things you think might come along with that seem to replay accurately with my library like that. I don't think anything will change with what I mentioned today, though um, 1 dB with or two with a BA, it could. So the spider graph definitely don't stick to that too much. That's going to change when I do my final review. If if I'm not sent one again, I'll just buy one and I'll do a full review on a retail secret shopper box or they'll send me one that they check and know this is what we wanted. Send them that one. Um, and then I'll do that. But this one right here is going to go out to somebody that like, comment, subscribe. So I think that this is one of the better sets that you can get in its price range. If somebody held a gun to my head, which would be a really bizarre situation about earphones, wouldn't it? But let's play along. Um, gun to my head, guy says, 500 bucks, what set would you take? This or the Zen's top? I'll let you look at the tops graph yourself or somebody that has it. And of course, with my library and my stated preferences I would go with the Zen's top over this set we'll see if 2db makes a difference um, to be continued I suppose and oh I got okay forgot sorry here we go put this in before I edit the video realize I didn't spin
Winner is, he got seven days to get in touch with me. Taco Vlad. Toka Vlad. I don't know why there's no ad mark. At Toka Vlad. Contact me, got seven days. And I'm out.